and welcome to a Jack Kerouac timeline. So I'm, I'm making this video and I made this timeline because I couldn't find any online that was correct. Um, I used three different, different timelines to reference and none of them were, all of them had meant different things. So I made my own and I'm gonna, first I'm gonna, I have highlight, highlighted his, the important life events. Uh, so I will just go through the highlighted stuff first and then in case y whoever doesn't really care about everything <laughs> in his life and then I will go through everything I've written down. <sighs> so this was, I worked really hard on this. It was really difficult to make because for some reason it, his, it's just, it's not, it's, it doesn't say online. I, I couldn't, there was a lot of information I really had to dig deep to get. So anyway, he was born in 1922 in March, March the 12th in Massachusetts, Lowell, Lowell, I don't know. And then in 26, when he's four years old, his big brother, brother, Jared dies. Um, and Jared is, and that deeply affected his life. He was like six years old. He was, uh, when he died, no, he was nine years old when he died. Um, then and then in the thirties he's like growing up and that's when um he and he has written several books about his uh growing up like dr Sachs and maggie cassidy and stuff so he's just a little christian boy growing up in the thirties and 39 then he graduates and then 1940 he goes to columbia university on this football scholarship um 1942 he joins the merchant marines um and he's in the Navy in 1943 um, for like eight to ten days. Sources say different, but for a really short, for like a week. Like he 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 got discharged fast. Then 44, um, he meets Ginsburg and Burroughs, um, the other t main beat poets. He also meets like Lucian Carr and Eddie Parker and people. And then he um, helps Lucian Carr hide the murder weapon when Lucian murders. In August, Lucian murders David Kammerer. Um, so at that point, they've known each other for a couple of months, and it's like, "Hey, what's up? I, I murdered my stalker. Can you help help me hide the murder weapon, please?" Um, and then in '46, his dad dies of cancer, and he meets Neil Cassidy, which is his biggest news. Dean Moriarty in On the Road, and then in '4 seven, that's kind of when On the Road was happening, when he was like traveling around with Neil. In 48, he divorced Eddie, his wife, and then he traveled some more. 1950, he married Joan um, Haverty. Um, you, you have to search Joan Kerouac if you want to find her Wikipedia page. And then in 51, he lived in the Cassidy's attic, and he was like writing, writing visions of Cody <clears throat> and stuff. And, um, and well, he was writing visions of Cody and Pick. Um, 52, his daughter Jan was born, but the previous year, 51, he separated from his wife, but in 52, Jan, his only daughter, his only, only child, was born. And that was also the year that uh, John Clennon Holmes wrote an article uh, called This the Beat Generation, um, based on the conversation um, he had with Jack, where it was like, this is nothing but a beat generation, so that's where the name comes from, and because of the, the article popularized the term, that's what they got known as, and he also published his novel Go, uh, which Jack was, like, jealous of, because he hadn't, he had yet to publish anything in, in 52, and Jenki got picked up too, um, rip, R.I.P. Um, and then 53, nothing, nothing really interesting happens until 55, um, where it's the sixth poet at sixth gallery reading, very, very famous reading, which is the first time um, Allen Ginsberg read Howl, the most famous poem of the Beats, um, and it was like, it was, um, yeah, it was very important, and Jack was just walking around like, um, partner, he didn't really read anything, but it was important uh, to the movement. In 1956, he was a fire lookout. Um, that's where Desolation Angels was written, and like that's where it came from. He was like in a cabin, like overlooking a mountain to check if there was any fire in 56. 
um, the summer of 56 and then 57 he met Joyce Johnson that I think is important because I love her they didn't marry or anything but she's awesome and you should read her books um, 58 Neil Cassidy went to prison oh wait also 57 that's like the biggest thing ever on the road finally got published and that was like the the game changer when on the road was published like he was suddenly famous and like everyone it was cra it was a crazy life he kind of hated it though um, it was stressful and he kind of did a bunch of stuff to not be famous and also he was drunk on all these interviews and everything so that kind of sucks in 57 but it was also great because what it was he finally got published and then after that he he published a lot like 58 he published subterraneans and the dharma bums and the year after that dr saxon mike cassidy like after that the ball is rolling and he's good to go but unfortunately also neil cassidy Dean Moriarty and on the road the main character gets arrested for weed and that's a funny story for the for the long when I go through it again but I talk longer um and then then let's just skip ahead like he's just famous and an alcoholic in the in the 50s or in the late 50s and early 60s until and then 66 he marries Stella Stampus and 68 neil cassidy dies that was really sad and 69 jack dies on 21st of october so um oh this was so fast it was only like six minutes um and but i have been working on this so i have more to say if you are in, as interested in that that was like his the main events of his life i would say and yeah don't read time i mean you gotta be careful because like as I said, the top searches and like I, I looked for a lot of timelines and they all had like they said different things and sometimes none of them were right. They would say where I the previous the previous video I have is like a rant video because I was really frustrated when wake making this. So I'm really happy I done this because this is gonna make it so much easier to understand Jack Whack because you really get a perspective, especially when I make the timelines for the overall movement and for the other beats. It's gonna be so good because then I can actually see like, okay, like you know how you can piece stuff together when you have a timeline. I also, this one I just copied straight, like the, the other page I have is just um, his work. Um, I had, there was like three columns less than, do we say that in English? Anyway, there was like a bit less space, so I just, instead of just ditching two, I just put like the most important ones. Um, kiss. What does that sound? Children. Children always sound like they're getting murdered. Um, should I just make a different video for the long one? Maybe I should. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna post different. I'm this is gonna be the short one, and then so I have already done the whole. You should watch the next one thing because yeah.